Hi guys, today I'm going to go over 10 ways to make cabinets look more like built-in furniture using examples from projects I've done in my house. You can use all 10 of these on existing cabinets in your home like I did with these here, with cabinets that you make from scratch, with IKEA cabinets, or even those out-of-the-box ones that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's. So you can use all 10 of these on any cabinets in your house, including your kitchen and bath. Let's get started. The first big change that'll make your cabinets look like real built-in furniture is to cover up that toe kick with baseboard. As you can see here, it looks amazing. I have another video showing exactly how to do it. If you need to keep the toe kick on your cabinets, but you still wanna give it a built-in furniture look, go with just legs on the side. So there are tons of different styles of legs and feet you can add to the sides of your cabinets that'll make it look like classic built-in furniture, absolutely gorgeous like these tulip feet here, and you can usually get them at Lowe's and Home Depot. The third trick is to add more trim to your cabinets. That'll make it look more like built-in furniture, more detailed and more beautiful. I added tons of chair rail, picture frame molding, little detail molding to this cabinet. Anytime you have floating uppers, add a little trim to the bottom of the cabinets. Use a pretty chair rail to cover up the joints between upper and lower cabinets like I did on these built-ins here. Here's a closer look at how that chair rail hides the joint between two different cabinet boxes. So it's hiding that line and making it look more detailed. Another trick is to line the inside of the cabinets, open cabinets with more detail trim. So this is a, just a little three quarter inch trim that goes all along the sides of the cabinet. Tip number four is to make those cabinets go wall to wall if you can. Wall to wall cabinets always look more like built in custom furniture and cabinetry. And don't worry, just because you go wall to wall doesn't mean you have to have a whole wall of cabinets. Tip number five is to fill in any gaps between the cabinets with pretty paneling. So I've used picture frame molding on one and a pretty wall paneling on the other. And of course, tip number six has to be going floor to ceiling with those cabinets too. Wall to wall looks great, so does floor to ceiling on those built-in cabinets. Tip number seven to make those built-ins look more like furniture is to add crown molding. So I went with an extra chunky crown molding on the office built-ins. But even if your cabinets don't go floor to ceiling, I still suggest adding crown molding. With our kitchen cabinets, the crown molding still makes that those cabinets look more like built-in furniture and they're absolutely fantastic. Tip number eight, don't forget to add unique and pretty hardware that'll make your piece stand out. So you don't wanna buy the typical contractor hardware that you find in the store. Look for something unique. Tip number nine is all about the detail. Make sure that you caulk everything. So where your cabinets meet the walls, where your baseboard meets the floor, where your baseboard meets the cabinets, where all of your trim pieces are, caulk everything for a polished, finished look. And the last tip I have for you guys is to give your cabinets a custom color. For, so go for something really pretty, something that stands out like this shade of green I've got here. Go for a bold blue, add dark black to your cabinets, or go for a stain that has a glaze over it. So it has a lot of depth and detail like that desk in our office. Go for some sort of custom color. You don't want it to look just like something that you bought off the shelf at Ikea. You want to give your built-in cabinets a custom look. That's going to really help them stand out. Okay, I hope this helped answer all of your questions about how to make your cabinets look more like built-in furniture. I love these cabinet projects. I love working with trim. I hope you do too. It can really help you design a custom look for any furniture or cabinets that you work with in your house. I'll put links to some of my trim work videos and some of my furniture painting videos in the description below. Thanks guys.